So that's the E4 European mountain route that continues all the way to Rilla and to Greece. Check out the Rilla mountains as well. If you want to visit Bulgaria because it is stunning. And it has the highest peak in the Balkans, which is Musala, over three kilometers. And here's the bouldering area that has the actual peak, I suppose. I'm not gonna climb that, unlike these people, because I gotta go back and I don't like rock climbing, plus I'm freezing. But hey, this was fun. Stretching a little here, legs. We're almost, we're halfway, I guess. See the city over there. Like up, the weather was not that good, now it's better again. The temperature changes really fast as you go up. But we're about 45 minutes on the way down, enough time to catch a lift back. Too bad I didn't catch a view on the other side, but uh, it was fun that I could finally catch Czerny Vrug right now. So here you see the city. But make no mistake, it's really big. What you see on the right there is the areas of Koroblene and Malost, where I used to live in Malost. And there you have the Kemedimitrov area, the park. But only over there, behind that hill, you can't even see it. That's where the center is. It's really big. To the left you have the areas of Obelia and Lulin, which you can barely see. It's behind that mountain there. So that's how big the city is. It's certainly 20 kilometers from one end to another. So it is huge. It's very spread out, like it's not clustered together like Athens, for example. But it's in a valley, so there's plenty of space, obviously. Still people live in blocks, but that's from the, the past urban planning. As you see, there's plenty of space to expand, which is good. Which is actually going to happen, I guess. Just look at the view here. There is where the Aleko lift is. You can see the orange cabins coming up if you look closely. Like the zoom is not that good. See one crawling up there. That's where we have one hour to get, so we can take it easy now. That the red roof is Hotel Moreni, where the bus leaves. I believe this bus 66 that goes from the city to here. I'm not taking a bus because I got a lift. I don't feel like going in a bus in the mountain. It gets sick. Uh, and it's just more fun than the lift. You can chill out, you know, relax. Over there is Pancharevo, the lake, artificial lake. What you see there, that little stripe up the mountain is a water turbine that runs water down generates energy and this here I don't know what that's for or used to be for but you can see the red label that means is I'm on the right walking track so let's get down we're back at the lift place get my lift place have ice creams here soups beers and tea you get a lot of things but I don't feel like staying up for the half hour. I'll probably uh, get back down soon. But this is what I climbed. Look, it is something. I went pretty high up. Did it fast as well. I enjoyed it, but the weather changes quickly, so you need to be kind of careful. Be predicted. Have a hat, like a sort of woolen hat, you know, for the cold. Bring gloves, which is typically advised in Bulgaria, even in summer. Because high up in the mountains, you can get into a freezing rain and you'll be happy you have gloves. Also, even for just touching the rocks. Uh, Bulgarian mountains can be really rough. And it's all at your own responsibility, obviously. So if you're not well acquainted, bring someone. It's not advised to go alone unless you're on well-threaded well paths. Be very careful what you do, which is the advice in all mountains. This is Hija Aleko, Mountain Hut Aleko. 
There are some hotels up here. I don't know if you can stay here in Aleko. You probably can. There's another motel up here where I've stayed a few years ago. Pretty nice. They have good food. And in winter you just come ski here. Like there you rent your skis. Or where is it? No, here actually I believe. So it will be in a few months I guess. This dog has been here forever. I remember taking pics of this dog uh, in 2015 or 14 even. Obviously it was still a lot younger. Now it's getting old, but I have an old picture of this dog. It's a sweet, beautiful mountain dog, see? I recognize it. It's probably the second time I see it, but I still recognize it. Beautiful animal. It has some trouble walking now. It's getting old. But let's get back down with the <laughs> ticket that I have. Two ways for 17 lava. Put in the scanner, you hop on, and you're back in the city. But you can also come by car, as you see here. There's even long lines of cars sometimes on good days, or when skiing. But I prefer the lift, just relaxing. So let's go. It was fun. So, what you do is just hop on. some dinner. Uh, there's a techno party in Club Yalta so I have plenty to do. Isn't it a cool life that I lead here? And here's our bus back home. Isn't it amazing? All this next to the big city, so convenient. It's a tram ride and a bus ride away here in the lift. So let's hop on. See you in the next adventure. What's up here at the balcony? Going indoors. And for first time this season, gonna go boxing pretty dark inside because of the the sun want to keep it out keep it cool here gonna go boxing again so packing the gloves mouth guard groin protection everything because it's gonna go pretty rough probably but it's always fun I think I lost my rhythm a bit of the boxing but uh, Gonna see how it goes. I think if I go four times a week again, just like before, I'll be back in, uh, in shape very soon. So it's gonna be exhausting to start again, but uh, let's do it, no choice. <laughs> 